Hello everybody, my name is Nick Sipniewski, and today we're going to be taking a look at the very well-known, yet possibly overhyped, Yashica T2. Now the Yashica T-series of cameras are anything but your average point-and-shoot. Instead, they're known as a premium option when it comes to enthusiasts looking for a point-and-shoot with top-notch image quality for a low price. Now just some quick history. The Yashica company started back in 1949 and was known for their very successful twin lens reflex cameras. But then, later acquired by Kyocera in 1983, they began aiming their market towards the point and shoot cameras where they focused on the Yashica T-Series. Now this specific model was released in the late 80s and was then discontinued a few years later with the introduction of the Yashica T3 Super. But now, what is it that makes this camera desirable? Is it the look, feel, ease of use, or efficiency? Well, actually, it's none of these. The T-Series from Yashica all feature a built-in Carl Zeiss lens. Now, this model particularly has a 35 millimeter lens with an aperture of 3.5, a variable shutter speed between 1 8th and 1 500th of a second. And aside from that, this camera features automatic motor wind, a built-in flash with daylight mode, an electronic viewfinder, and it runs on a six volt, two CR5 battery, which can get you through about 35 rolls of film without needing to change. Now using this camera is almost as simple as it gets. Just load your film like any other 35mm camera. Simply open up the back cover, put the film in the canister, pull the film until it reaches the other side, and you're good to go. When shooting, select any flash settings if desired and then give the shutter button a half press. This will allow the camera to activate its built-in autofocus system and will display the focal distance inside the digital viewfinder. Once satisfied, push the shutter button down all the way and you've done it. You simply shot a photo on the Ashika T2. Now, let's talk price. The T2 does not come in cheap. And while we weren't able to find the camera's initial release price, it can still fetch a whopping hundred plus dollars on eBay and are usually readily available, but are definitely not a common camera to find in the wild at your local thrift store. And I should mention, while these do pop up a lot online, be careful when browsing auction site listings, as there are a good amount of these cameras that do show up as four parts are not working. So just be sure to fully examine an online listing before purchasing. Now that we've taken a full look at the camera itself, let's take it out into the field and see what we can capture. Well, now that we're on the field with the T2, we're gonna see exactly what we can shoot. First stock of choice is gonna be Ektar 100. Let's see what we can capture. All right, so with the T2, a quick reminder, when using this camera, you do have the option for daylight flash and no flash. Just remember, when shooting, hold the button down, then take your picture. Pressing the button and letting go will not work, and a lot of people don't know that with this camera. You haven't? Focus on it. Focus is half press, and you'll see inside. Make sure you're on the right mode. A quick note, on this camera, it can be pretty tough to get your focus just right. You don't really have the option on what you're gonna focus on. Whether you wanna be all the way in the distance or whether you wanna do uh, a portrait, you really have to kinda move the camera around and let it focus on its own thing before you get the right mode. So for example, if I want to focus right in this area right here, and I'm going to shoot from about right here, I'm only a few feet away. But if I point the camera in this direction, I'm going to get landscape focus. So what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to half press the shutter, point it towards something in this general area. Then I'm going to keep holding down on the half shutter. Then I'm going to adjust to get everything in the distance. This will lock in the focus that we set. Now that we waited a little bit, we already got some nice photos during midday. 
But now, since sunset is approaching, we're gonna see exactly what we can capture with the T2. Look at that lens, so. I should have done my braids better now. So, look straight. That's what I was just doing. If you face, if you look this way, it's kind of cool. Yeah, I agree. Two more. I think your hand was in it. Yeah, I like that. I think, uh, yeah, I think your hand was in it. The continuity. Yeah, uh, I think it's blurry. Should I be looking at you or you want me looking at you? Just a moment. Look up, look straight up. Sure, yeah. A little bit down over here. Now to show how easy it is to shoot with the T2, I have two guests. I got the homie George and the homie Jen, and they're gonna take their first photos on the T2, and we're gonna show you what they can get. Do as your heart desires. I got you. Should it be set on people or should it be set on like mountain? It should be okay. set on people. People you want? Okay. I, well, I mean, I think the camera wants that, not me. Where? All the way up to the No, right here. What do you want me to look at? Yeah, just like that. Yeah, George, actually, I want you to stand like right here. Right here. Are you sure? The exact spot? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, I'm okay. here. But I want you to look at me. I don't, I don't you want, want me to look pondering? Like I want you to look like, yeah, yeah. You want, you want me to be like, oh my god. Are you taking one? What do you want me to do? No, actually, that was cool. Just look at me. Look at, yeah. Two shots left on the Kodak Color Plus. We're gonna hand it off to George and Jen. Who's first? Oh, me? Okay. I don't have a picture that I want to see. Alright, here we go. Alright, Nick. I mean, I mean, I'll send him this one farther. Who? Nick. Nick, he needs you. Nick! I'm gonna come off for like a mile. I'll tell you when to stop. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Oh wait, you're way too far. Come back. Get it while he's walking back angry. Oh, wait, 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 turn around. 
All right, come back. You're way too far. Nick, can I use your tube? Oh, you what? Well, I don't know. You need me to? I'll take your turn. Do you want to stay in the grass? No. You want me to? Kind of. All right, where? Under the tree like a monk. Yeah, pretty much, actually. That'll be great. Be the Buddha. Yeah, be Buddha. Like you just meditated. Okay, go, 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 go. Oh my god. That was good for us. Hey, we have one more. We do have one more. We had three. So I guess since we had three shots left, what it comes down to is a picture of the best one here. That's you. Wow. That's cute. I meant the audience, not. Oh, oh you lied! You lied, there's still another photo! Oh! No, it's done. No, I didn't hear no, it. No, I didn't hear it either. It has to be rewound, that's all. Oh. Oh, tough shit. Come I'm on, dude. Oh, dude. I want to hear the noise, though. That was the coolest part. Now, as you can see from our photos, the T2 provides extremely crisp detail and eliminates the distortion that typical cheap point-and-shoot lenses leave on your photos. So you can definitely have confidence taking this as your only camera when on the go or at a photo shoot. And while it's certainly not the best possible image quality out there, this is a rather premium point and shoe, and it definitely is worth carrying around if you always like to keep a film camera handy. Now to conclude, I'd say that this camera is great for an enthusiast looking for a higher end point and shoot that won't break the bank, but will still yield great results, or even a beginner who's looking to jumpstart ahead from the cheaper point and shoot cameras out there. And on that note, we're gonna wrap up this video. Please feel free to comment down below or to recommend any other cameras for future review or any other film related videos that you'd like to see. I'm Nick Sipniewski. Thank you very much for watching. Dude, there's too many bugs out here. Let's go. Need the audio.